All right, YouTube, welcome to the video. So, right now, it's Saturday morning. So, usually, like right now, my body's pretty beat up, like just from like the week and like the workouts and my, like my central nervous system and all that. I don't want to take a complete rest day because I usually do that like on Sundays. So, okay, that's not my, something vibrating, but I don't know what it is. So, anyway, so on Saturdays, I like to come in and just get like an upper body pump because they usually do lower body work on Fridays. So, but Saturdays usually just like a complete upper body pump. So I'm gonna do about two exercises of each upper body part, muscle group, quote unquote. And then about three to four sets, usually the hawk in 12 to 20 reps, more volume work, more like forming up, tonage work. But yeah, I'm about to take y'all through that. Like I said, just getting a pump, just like to get the muscles flowing. Kind of like an active recovery day, really, but um, we still get a sick pump. So, so we're going. Got my ghost sour warhead watermelon pre workout, tastes amazing. Um, I was telling my friend this the other day put ice in your pre workout, like seriously. I put water, then I put the pre workout, and I shake it up, and then I add in some ice, and I shake it up some more. And it's honestly a complete life changer. Ice in the pre workout, life changes. All right. So I'm going to go warm up a little bit and then let's get this session started. Alright, what's up? We're going to have a little voiceover for this little workout. So the first thing you're seeing is like a ISO cross cable fly. We're just going one arm, isolating the pec a lot more. Going from a different angle than a typical fly, just mixing it up, hitting the pack from another angle, really trying to form it up. And this is a really good one. I really love this exercise. Then I moved into a guillotine press, which is my favorite movement for for uh, targeting the upper pecs. You just want to keep your elbows really high and wide. And then you want to come down toward the bottom of your neck, your upper pec. And then you just want to slowly go up and slowly go down. Really focus on keeping the muscle contract the whole time control your movements that's why I do I love to do this on a smith machine with light weight just focus on controlling the movement and yeah so if you're lagging if you're like upper package lagging I would highly recommend doing this one it is it's one of my favorites and it's definitely one of the better ones it's really good <clears throat> then I moved on to a one arm row with a cable just a little bit more of an isolation that movement really focusing on getting a nice pull so I try to reach uh, forward and then pull all the way back and even decided to give myself a little pause sometimes so I could just let that muscle work a little extra just trying to work the muscle with something it's not used to I normally don't do a lot of these so it was really good just to throw them in and just to give me a really good pump so that's what you're seeing then after this, I moved into a lat pull down, which you're obviously seeing, and then simple lat pull down, did wide grip, and then standing shoulder press, hit the shoulders. I just tried to keep, um, I didn't go all the way up every time. I just wanted to keep basically keep the deltoids engaged and all those muscles around my shoulder engaged the whole time. And then I did shrugs. Noticed on my shrugs how I uh, shrugged up and back in one simultaneous movement. So just a better way to shrug, so that way you don't get so anterior heavy. You get more of your rear delt posterior traps to shrugs. And then last thing I did that was an arm superset. I did two different arm supersets. Just decided to show y'all one of them, which you're seeing right now. Um, if you want arms like better arms, better developed arms, and more muscular arms, sets and volume a lot. I mean, a lot of reps and a lot of volume is how you really get good arms in my opinion a lot of reps a lot of volumes that's how you get good arms all right so that's all i have what's up youtube how's it going so right now it is super bowl sunday so the game is about to start here in like uh 10 15 minutes maybe like 20 i'm not really sure okay shit more like 10 but anyway i'm going over to my friend's apartment at ferris we're gonna have a bunch of people over and we're gonna watch it the game there because they rent it out like the common room area so that's going to be sick and that's where we're headed but just one thing you know gotta make sure i stay prepared got my water because you know what we getting shredded 
Hey guys, welcome to Super Bowl 52 party. I'm not your host, but my name is Tyler Jones. I'm here with Olivia Robinson, Austin Suppleby, Sarah Holden, and Camden Wilson, and a lot of other people in the living room right now. As we're here, we're watching the Eagles play the Patriots. Tom Brady just dropped a pass, probably the most unathletic play I've ever seen in my life. And the Eagles are going to take a dub. So, I, I mean, I got my Saints shirt on for a reason, but I'm still salty. Go Vikings. <laughs> Cam's a Packers fan. I just want you to know that. Yeah. I look, I look dirty. Yeah. I'm a Patriots fan. <laughs> Defending Super Bowl champs. I might be an Eagles fan here in like two hours. <laughs> <laughs> Olivia, who you going for? I don't know lost. I ain't never lost. Who's playing? I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, the Eagles. Eagles? Alright, man. Who you going for? Say uh, Eagles. Eagles? Oh, yeah. you know what? Patriots. <laughs> Maybe the Eagles, though. We'll see. <laughs> Austin, who you going for? Whoever's winning. My Who's man. Who you going for? Eagles. Eagles? Alright. Looks like we got a bunch of Eagles bandwagoners. Well, LeGarrette Blunt oh, just Brady. scored. The touchdown is now 15 to 3. Philadelphia, he just scored on his um, ex team, so I bet it feels great to score a touchdown on the team you just got cut from. So, I felt great punch of Boise State players, too. <laughs> Who did that? It was like Garrett Blunt. Who did you do that? He was at Oregon. I didn't even know. Boise State upset him. He went to Oregon? Yeah, it was when Boise State was on the rise. He punched no the idea. player. Look it up. He got him suspended. Well, I didn't know that, so for the record, it's still cool that he did that. That He just scored there, but. Um, no one could chicken parmesan is fantastic. Uh, right there. I'll see it. Um, I have my overreaching week of my we <laughs> wait study <laughs> tomorrow. It's going to be so now. bad. <laughs> but I got to get mentally prepared. So, I mean, I'm ready for it. I just got to pray that. I have no idea what that means. All right. So, my overreaching week means that I am doing the study. I'm taking this pill to see if it prevents right, muscle damage for our school here. It's called Viagra. It's not Viagra, it's called fenugreek. And so fenugreek is supposed to help me. Did they just go for two and not get it? I think they did. Anyway, so fenugreek is supposed to help my muscles not like get as damaged as they could from like lifting too much and like lifting too strenuous. Recover faster. Yes. So this week I have to do eight sets of 10 on bench, squat, squat thruster, and uh, deadlift of 70% of my max Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. So y'all put a little prayer in for me because I'm gonna need it, so. The minute rest. Yeah, with the minute rest. So, so, whenever this video goes live, he may or may not already be dead. <laughs> so, you saw him last. So, super, super lucky. Thank you, Chris. I'm getting the Patriots right now. But, still early in the game. Second like quarter? Two and a half quarters left. And Tom Brady's the GOAT. So, now, nah, LeBron next. James, the GOAT. Jellyfish can evaporate because they're 98 percent water. Says BuzzFeed Snapchat. Nice. You boogers. Ew. <laughs> this is going on YouTube. Um, hello, all of Cam's vloggers. <laughs> I don't know what to say. The <laughs> smile I've ever seen in my whole life. Hello. Hey, you I'm actually yeah. like kind of pretty. I'm Cam. Hey, Cam. <laughs> We're bad at this. <laughs> we are not vloggers. Just talk. <laughs> just gotta talk. I feel like I'm on the office. Oh, it's On the office? <laughs> so today we have a D1 superstar joining us for the Super Bowl. Hey, now, party. glory to God. That's the first thing I want to say. Christian, how does it. Absolutely. What's up, John L? And we're here at uh, Super Bowl 52 party. Uh, I just want to let y'all know the Eagles are up by 10 right now with 25 seconds left before half. Can Tom Brady make another comeback? We already know what's going to happen. We already know what's going to happen. We already know. We already know. I just won. Shocker, right? We already know what's going to happen. Tom Brady. I hate the A ball is. It don't matter. I was going to win anyway. I only had one ball left. Even Michael Jordan loses. Derek, you got that? Come on. Yeah. Look, 
Cool. Right here, guys. See the channel? Press that button right there. And we'd be good. Thumbs up the video. Alright, so I just beat Austin. So now I'm about to hand this L to Derek. Nah, yeah, I don't take L's. Because uh, everyone takes L's. I'm on the field on the pool table, guys. Fun fact. Okay, so. Yeah, Cam said he's gonna take the L. He's gonna give it to me. But, uh, your boy won. Yeah, I won, that's right. Your boy. I'm their boy. I won. I won. I hit the A ball in like my third hit. It was, it was pretty cheap, but. Alright guys, what's up? So, uh, the Eagles just scored in like two and a half minutes to take the lead. So, I'm not gonna lie, I haven't really been watching the game, watching a little bit, but um, I've been trying to get this homework done. So, been working on this, but uh, two minutes left, so about to tune in and watch Tom Brady go down for the win. Honestly, I can't, can't doubt Tom Brady, so we're gonna see if he can do it. How do you feel, Tom? Huh? How do you feel, Tom? I feel great. The Eagles won the Super Bowl. Oh, oh, he's getting it out.